This time we're going to make a fun cupcake with pumpkin in the filling. We're going to make a spice cupcake filled with pumpkin and then we're going to make something called American buttercream on top which most of you were familiar with. On one of our future programs we'll talk about differences between American buttercream, Swiss buttercream, Italian buttercream, but today we're going to stick with the American. When I was a kid, for my birthday, every year my mother made me a spice cake. It was my favorite cake then, it's still my favorite cake. We're going to start off with one stick of butter, softened. Let me explain what my flour is before we get any further. This is one and one half cups of all-purpose flour with one and one half teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then as you always do when you're working with pumpkin and spice, but there's a lot of spices in here, teaspoon of cinnamon, teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and an eighth of a teaspoon of clove, all mixed up together. So we're going to put the one stick of soft butter on our mixer. And start that going. And then here I have three quarters of a cup of regular granulated sugar, which will go in. Okay. Then I have two eggs at room temperature, one half cup of milk at room temperature, and then we're going to add a um, teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, that's pretty well blended. Let's add our eggs, one at a time usually. add my vanilla at this point, so it's one teaspoon of vanilla. And then I will add my flour, half flour, then the milk, and half the flour. Very simple recipe, but a very nice one. Again, this is a nice fall recipe. You think of fall when you think of pumpkin, as we talked about before, and now with the spices, the warm spices of fall. So, half of our flour. Back on the mixer. And slowly add our milk to it. I like to tap the flour off the side of the pan. My oven is heating to 350 degrees, by the way. This makes about a dozen cupcakes. I say about because sometimes I get 11, sometimes I get 13. It really depends. Depends on how much I scoop them. Okay. Down again. Time. Scrape down the sides. Add the rest of the flour. Now, I don't know if you're a fan of spice cupcakes or spice cake, but I just think it's one of the best cakes. It's got so much flavor. And here I have my muffin or my cupcake tin. It's my, it's my big cupcake tin. I love this cupcake. I bought this in a restaurant supply house for practically nothing. And it, it's absolutely wonderful. It's nice. It's heavy duty. You can do two dozen cupcakes at a shot or one dozen as we're doing today. You should really go and see if you have a restaurant supply near you there's a lot of really cool stuff you can pick up that's used and it doesn't really cost much and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than going to the department store and buying those well they're not exactly very heavy gauge they're thin they tend to warp sometimes I always go back to the big stuff this heavy duty stuff okay that looks good well now we're going to scoop 
always use a disher, ice cream scoop, disher in the trade. It just, it's so much easier than trying to scoop this out with a spoon and you can do them so fast. Now we're going to put these in the oven. I'm going to check them after about 17 or 18 minutes and see if they're done. And then while they're in the oven, I'll show you how to make the filling that we're going to put in the center of these. It's really cool. So here we go. While our cupcakes are in the oven, I'm going to show you how to make the filling. Uh, we have here two tablespoons of room softened cream, um, butter. I'm going to use half of this. This is an eight ounce brick of cream cheese, which is softened. I'm going to use half of that, four ounces. I'm going to use more vanilla extract. I'm going to use pumpkin puree, not a lot. And I'm going to use confectioner's sugar. I keep my sugar flour, my sugars, my brown sugar, my white sugar, my confectioner's sugar, my flour, everything in big buckets like this so easy to work out of and they stack nicely in in my little closet so i'm going to get my mixing bowl and i'm going to put that four ounces or one half brick of cream cheese in there okay and the two tablespoons of softened butter nice and soft beautiful now we're gonna let that mix up until they blend well. You can take this filling the day before, that's fine. You put it in the refrigerator and then just use it the next day. We, we're going to have to wait until our cupcakes cool absolutely completely before we um, start filling them. And I'll show you a fun way to fill them. That's good. I'm gonna add my teaspoon of vanilla. paper towel and I'm going to add two teaspoons, two generous teaspoons of pumpkin puree. And that's it for that. Now I want to take it off and mix it up. Because there's so few ingredients in here, it doesn't really fill up the mix well. This part you could do by hand. But once you start adding the confectioner's sugar, it comes out a lot better if it's in a mixer. It's easier. And what we're going to use is a little more than a half a cup. So I have my half a cup measure here. As soon as this is nice and mixed, Just a touch more. What we're going to do is we're going to make holes in the center of the cupcake and put this in and then frost on top of it. They're going to be yummy. Okay, and then start filling. So what we'll do now is I'm going to put it into another bowl and I'm going to put it in my refrigerator and just let it sit there. Give it one last, get all that little bits of confectioner sugar off the sides and mix it in. And then when the cupcakes are completely cool, I'll show you how we'll fill them. This might actually be too much filling for the 12 cupcakes, but okay. And that's that. Put it in the refrigerator and we'll use them when the cupcakes are cool. Here are our cupcakes, very hot out of the oven. 
I have to let them cool absolutely completely. I'm going to leave them in the tray like this for 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take them out, put them on a wire rack and let them cool completely. We cannot touch them or fill them until they're cool. So that's going to take half an hour to an hour. I want to be safe about it. So we'll come right back and I'll show you how to fill them and frost them. Here's the filling for our, our um, cupcakes the, that we had in the refrigerator. I took it out. Um, here are six of the cupcakes. I'm only going to do six because you're not going to sit here and watch me make 12 cupcakes. I have a large tall glass and I have a heavy duty freezer Ziploc bag. As I've told you in the past with these Ziploc bags, don't use the cheap ones or the non-freezer ones because what will happen is once you start squeezing, the seams will burst and then you're not going to be a happy camper with what the mess you're going to have. So put this in. This is just my method. If you don't like this method, you can use a teaspoon and spoon it into the cupcake, but you'll see what I'm doing here in a minute. Okay. Now, here is our filling, and I get it all the way down into the corner because I'm making this my little piping bag. And when I'm ready, I'm just going to snip the end and pipe away. Put this aside. I'm not ready yet. All right. Last Christmas, my granddaughter got a cupcake decorating kit. And um, one of the tools in it was this little core. Takes the centers out of cupcakes. I thought this was a pretty cool tool, so I stole it from her. Not really. I mean, when she makes cupcakes, we make them together, so we use this together. I used to use an apple corer, so if you don't have one of these, you can just use a regular apple corer and make a, a divot in the center. If you don't have that, just take a knife, make a, a slit, and remove the center of the cupcake. So what you do with this, is you put it in, kind of roll it around, pull out the center. Now, you can cut that off and just keep the very tip and cut your end off. Here's your filling. And fill up your cupcake. And then I like to put the little hat back on. You don't have to the way I do. So I'm going to do these six. Okay, I'm going to fill up the rest of them. And and I will save this filling for the other six. And I think I'm going to have plenty left over because uh, this filling makes an awful lot. So what you can do is put this into the frosting, not throw it away. And let's launch right into our frosting. At the beginning I said it was an American buttercream. The reason they call it an American buttercream, well, I don't know why they call it American buttercream, but Americans are the ones who make it. It's a buttercream that is not cooked in any way. If you have Italian meringue or Swiss meringue, you have to cook some of the um, um, mixtures to melt it, and it's a much smoother, I prefer it, but we're going to do the American, which is a little grittier. So we're going to take our butter. It's one stick. We're going to put in, let me see, a teaspoon of vanilla. I have a quarter cup of milk. Actually, I got just a touch more because I never know. Sometimes the confectioner's sugar wants a little bit more, a little bit less. Depends on the day, I think. So there we go. Mix that up. And here's my confectioner's sugar in my bucket again. And we're going to use four cups of this. And my mixer needs some oiling. A little squeak in it. So there's two. There's three. There's four. I might add a little more. I don't know yet. Now I'm going to add some of the milk. I've got a little bit more than a quarter cup here, so I'm only going to start with half of what I have there and see how smooth it comes out.
You could tint this frosting at this point with a little bit of orange food color to make it look more like fall if you wanted to. Um, when you finish frosting the cupcakes, you could put some chopped pecans on top or, you know, sprinkles. They have the fall sprinkles, which are the orange and the brown and the yellows. You could sprinkle some of those on. And a little bit more milk. And I think at this point, I'm going to take some of that filling and I'll squirt some of it in. That should be enough for the other six. And this will actually tint the frosting a little bit. Not much. Very pale. A little bit more milk. See that whoop, whoop, whoop sound. That's, that's the sound you want to hear when you know the buttercream is about where it should be. Okay. And that's our buttercream. You can take these and frost them just with a knife and frost them. I like to use a pastry bag with a nice big swirly tip on top. You don't have to do this. This is just what I happen to like to do. This is the time when I usually call my husband over to hold the bag for me, but since he's not here, oh, I guess he's going to come over. Okay, you see the hands <laughs> coming over? Makes it so much easier because I don't have a glass that's big enough to hold this. Just a little more. I'm not going to put it all in. Thank you. Shake it down. I get air in there, so you want to get the air out. Back to our cupcakes. Pile her on. There you go. Pumpkin filled spice cupcakes, a perfect fall treat. I hope you try them.